now at five. Today I am nominating Chief Judge Merrick Brian Garland to join the Supreme Court. President Obama makes his choice. Thank you, Mr. President. This is the greatest honor of my life. Prompting a new political fight. Give the people a voice in filling this vacancy. Over his Supreme Court nomination. Senate Republicans say nothing personal, but Merrick Garland will not get the meetings or hearings that the president says he deserves. They maintain the pick should go to the next president. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with more. Elliot? Well, Ruta Bay and Rick, the announcement was made at the Rose Garden, and it immediately set off an epic battle between the White House and Senate Republicans who vow not to take action on the nominee until the next president is sworn into office. And the president is trying to go around all of that by going directly directly to the American people on social media. President Obama introduced an emotional Merrick Garland as his choice to replace the late Antonin Scalia on the Supreme Court. For me, there could be no higher public service than serving as a member of the United States Supreme Court. Garland is chief judge of the U.S. Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C., and is regarded as a moderate. The 63-year-old was born in Chicago and graduated from Harvard Law School. He led the investigation and prosecutions of the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. The president described him as one of America's sharpest legal minds, with a spirit of decency, integrity, and even-handedness. These qualities and his long commitment to public service have earned him the respect and admiration of leaders from both sides of the aisle. But that bipartisan support may never happen as Republican leaders in the Senate are digging in. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the appointment should wait. It is the president's constitutional right to nominate a Supreme Court justice, and it is the Senate's constitutional right to act as a check on a president and withhold its consent. Other Republicans in the Senate are also turning the appointment into a political fight. So the next justice could well change the ideological makeup and the balance of the Supreme Court for a generation to come and fundamentally reshape America. Facing that type of opposition, the White House took the unprecedented step of posting this video about Judge Garland on Facebook. This is not anything I could have ever imagined uh, happening uh, growing up in Lincoln Wood, Illinois. My mother would watch on TV. She's still alive. She'll be crying. And my father would be very proud. Um, and to me, it's, uh, you know, it's the highest uh, position that uh, somebody who believes in the rule of law and, and, and in making sure that the law is uh, applied fairly can be in. And I think the rule of law is what distinguishes our country um, from most other countries. Judge Garland getting emotional in that Facebook video posted by the White House. Judge Garland will make his first visit to Capitol Hill to meet with some members of Congress tomorrow, but it may only be those who are willing to meet with him. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. And look for much more on the Supreme Court nomination tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.